morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice for radio, so today we are going to be opening this monstrosity. Look how big the box is. It's gigantic. Now, this this was what, what we were looking for for a while. This is Tapu Lele. This comes with a promo Tapu Lele. So this is one of those boxes whereby it doesn't matter really what you pull. It's a great box. Before you've even started here, before you've even opened the packs, this is a great, great box. There's cool stuff in this box before we even get to the packs. So, oh, this is a, it's definitely the largest product I've opened on this channel. Right, let's get rid of the box for a minute. So, one of the things we actually get in this box, which we do get in more and more products nowadays. This is hard to get, get my head around. Right. You actually get... There is not enough room on my desk for this, unfortunately. You actually get a full-on playmat with this. And I'm going to tell you right out the gate, ladies and gentlemen. If I can ever get the tape off this, I'll show you what it looks like. This is a beautiful, beautiful playmat. I adore this playmat. Oh, I have scissors. Ha! I literally have scissors. Don't cut the playmat. Don't cut the playmat. Didn't think I did. How cool is that? Right. So now I can show you the playmat over me regular one. I mean, this is a beautiful playmat. If you have any interest in the Alolan Guardians as characters, and I obviously do, Bulu number one, this is a beautiful mat. So before we've even started, before we've even started, we get this playmat, which is beautiful. And it probably goes without saying at this stage, but it's the only place to buy this playmat. Now, you also get Promo Tapu Lele and Promo Tapu Finny. They are the regular ones with different artwork. It is that Tapu Lele. It is awesome. And you get a coin. I do like the coin. So, before we even start, beautiful playmat. Tapu Finny's not a great card. It doesn't see a huge amount of play anymore. It was played in Golisopod decks for a while. That kind of ran away. But you get Tapu Lele. You get Tapu Finny. That alone is pretty gosh darn nice. Now, some people have commented on the pack selection here, and I see where they're coming from if they're hardcore players. Now, there's a reason for most of this. So, obviously, Lost Thunder is the most recent set, so that makes sense. Let's get these fully on camera. Uh, Forbidden Light is a very recent set, so that makes sense. We'll talk about the others in a second. I should mention you also get a Jumbo Tapu Lele. I mean, look, if you're into Jumbo cards, it's awesome. There are different versions of this box doing the rounds in different countries. But, you know, promo Tapu Lele. Big Tapu Lele. Now, in terms of the packs, the reason there are Evolutions, Evolutions is a great, great pack for collectors. Collectors adore Evolutions. It's got some really cool cards in. As for Ancient Origins, I mean, look, you get eight packs. These four have already rotated. These are not legal for tournament play in standard. They are in expanded. Although, to be fair, there aren't that many good cards in Evolutions. There's like Starmie and Dragonite, and that's about it. So, we'll open them in order of excitingness, which means we start with Ancient Origins. I'm not saying Ancient Origins is a bad set. I am, however, saying that it rotated a while ago at this stage, so there is an argument as to whether we still actually need it. As we get into the opening, I should, as always, give a huge shout out to the lovely folks over at Chaos Cards. They did provide the box for this opening, and like I say in all of my opening videos, yes, Chaos Cards are sponsoring this video. No, they were not the first card shop to ask if they could do a partnership. Not even close. They were like number six or seven. And they're not the most recent. There are others more recently. And the reason I turned them down and not Chaos Cards is very simple. When I want to buy Transformers, Keyforge, Dragon Ball, or Pokemon, I go to Chaos Cards. If they weren't sponsoring me, I'd be going there. So I feel very confident saying go to Chaos Cards because they are the best online card store I've found. Hello, Beast87. Glad to see you here. Porygon, and that's a good start. Porygon was my original favorite Pokemon. 
Until Mammoth Wine came around, it was all Porygon. I do like Unknown. That's a great card. Rev Hollow Quagsire and... Ooh, that's a nice start to the opening. That's not even just Rayquaza. That is the secret rare Mega Rayquaza. Now, what's weird about this card is, on the one hand, it's beautiful. On the other hand, the reason Rayquaza was good was Delta Revolution, the ancient trait. This has Fata Max, which completely heals you. Playability-wise, this Rayquaza is garbage compared to the other one. Awesomeness-wise, it's beautiful. Ariados, I like. Energy Recycler, I like. And there is a Whimsicott. Oh, that's a beautiful card. I need to go check the value on that. If I don't do it during this video, I will pop it up. I mean, to be honest, if you're watching it on YouTube, it just popped up on the screen. If you're watching on Twitch, I will have a look at the end of this if we like. <laughs> as long as you guys make the streams whenever you can, I will be happy. Now, to be fair, we did do an opening yesterday, and the opening yesterday did not go great. It wasn't terrible. The pools weren't amazing. That one's already up on YouTube if you want to check it out. So we get a Spinarak, we get a Baltoy, we get a Quagsire, we get a Combi. Ooh, Rev Hollow Level Ball's good. Level Ball sees a lot of play. And Vesperquen. And not even the good Vesperquen. The other one would be... <laughs> Lied, there is the good Vesperquen. <laughs> oh, I do enjoy that. And then we get a Rotom at the end as well. So I'm here sitting here saying how we didn't pull the good Vesperquen. And it turns out that we did, in fact, pull the good Vesperquen. We got both of them. So that was, that was Ancient Origins. We're moving on to Evolutions now. Ancient Origins did us proud. Ancient Origins did us proud. For anyone wondering, yes, I am planning to stream Smash Ultimate when it comes out. So on to Evolutions. I love these because they look like the base set. And I started playing with base set. Oh, we have something shiny. We have Starmie Break. Fun fact, Starmie in French is Star Ross. It literally has my name on it. I never did get my Star Ross Turbo card. So if anyone's got Star Ross Turbo in Europe, they're called Turbo Not Break. Do hit me up. And, ah, oh, it's a bee drill. Although I tell you what, right, I was convinced this bee drill was going to be great. One of the most popular videos on this channel was about this bee drill and the new Mega. I was convinced that bee drill was going to be a great deck. Never happened. We never got bee drill kind of rocking the format, which is a little bit sad. Alrighty then, what are we on now? Second Evolutions pack. Let's see if we can pull anything good from this bad boy. Starting off with a Charmander. And a Rattata. Rattata. Really nice ability. Getting rid of a tool. Magnemite. Voltorb. Oh, they're nice. Rev Hollow Energy. I, base set energy is still my favorite type of energy, hands down. The Rev Hollow ones and Evolutions I adore. I, I don't go spending lots of money blinging out my deck, but if I did, these would be the energy I'd go for. And, yeah, Doug Trio. I mean, meh. Do like Misty's Determination. That's a nice card. Okay. So, what did we get? So, Ancient Origins gave us the Secret Rare Rayquaza, which is very nice. Uh, it's not actually a Secret Rare because it's 98 out of 98. But, you know, it looks like a Secret Rare. It's gold. So Evolutions gave us Starmie Break and Rev Hollow Water. So we're not doing bad at all. Okay. Execute. Scatterbugs. We're into Forbidden Light. We see a Skiddo. Rev Hollow Dragalgi. And. Ugh. Ugh. That is not one of the best cards in the set. And then we get a metal frying pan and a spewper. Gonna be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I was not I was hoping for better than that. I really was. I wanted more than that. Hey ho. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Alrighty then. Second pack of Forbidden Light. Can we get something cool in this? 
We've had something quite nice in both the sets so far, so it would be nice to carry that on with Forbidden Light. Light me some gibble. Rev Hollow Floet and Marowak. Fun fact: to celebrate Halloween, we did pull a we did a uh, booster box opening. Oh, they're nice trainer cards. They're nice trainers. We did a uh, booster box opening for Forbidden Light. We did actually pull Rainbow Rare Naganadal and Full Art Naganadal. Uh, yeah, to celebrate Halloween, I went and bought a little um, Alolan Marowak figure from a local shop for three English pounds. I think like four bucks fifty. All right. On to Lost Thunder. These are the last two packs we get. Comey, Houndour, Cue to Fly, Chin Chow, Hop It, Rev Hollow, Ninkata, and... I mean, this is a really good card. Nihiligo is really, really good as a card. I really like Nihiligo as a card. It's It's got the attack for one psychic energy. If you've got exactly... Oh, Shuckle's good. And Spell Tag's good as well. For if you've got exactly two prizes remaining, it uh, you get to just copy one of your opponent's attacks. It's, it's basically Zorox GX attack if you've got two prizes remaining. Now... I find with most of these fancy sets, you get one good pull. And we've already had our Mega Rayquaza. But I live in hope. Best card, money-wise at least, collectability-wise from Lost Thunder, is the Rainbow, Wear Rainbow Rare Alola Ninetales. Let's see if we can get one of those, shall we? Alrighty then. Poplio, I love him. Skiddo, Onyx. Oh, that's the one on which I made the very controversial video. Ralts, Cyndaquil, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my last chance. Rev Hollow Mary and Lapras. That is two openings in a row that ended in, shall we say, uninspiring fashion. And another spell tag and a wait and see hammer. Okay. Yeah. I can live with that. So, in terms of like the, the the good cards, the collectible cards and playable, we basically ended up with this. We did get both Vesperquen and Unknown from Ancient Origins, but they have rotated now. Hey ho! Right, not great, not terrible, but remember, the whole point of this pack is that you get Tapu Lele. So I also pulled my Tapu Lele and my Tapu Finny and my Great Coin. And let's not forget the beautiful playmat, which I showed you a moment ago. And that's why you buy boxes like this. You buy boxes like this because even if the pools, and these aren't terrible pools, they're not amazing. But even if you don't have amazing pools, you get the promos and the mat and all of that. And actually, that's pretty sweet. So, lovely folks on YouTube, you know the deal. Pop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Go nuts, but please do remember the main rule. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. And do make sure you check out youtube.com slash plays for more Wassy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.